Okay, hello students. Today I want to welcome you back to another math lesson. And in today's math lesson, as you can see here on the board, we want to solve this problem that has to do with higher purchase and cash price. So the information says, get 15% discount with cash purchase and a TV is worth $1,500 cash with a 15% discount. Then if you get a TV on higher purchase or on credit, you will pay down $500 and 12 monthly payments of $120 each. So with no further delay, remember you can subscribe for quick access to all the videos and lessons that will be posted. Let's go straight into the problem. So A says calculate the cost of buying a TV with cash. And remember the TV cost is $1,500. And if you purchase it cash, you get 15% discount. So to solve a problem like this, we know that 15% percent, percent always go over 100 times the cost of the TV, which is $1,500 over 1. Okay, so that's how we set it up. We can remember 15% discount and a percent always go over 100 times the cost of the TV, which is $1,500. So we need to cross multiply. We could X out two zeros from here and two from here so now we're left with 15 times 15 and we need to multiply 15 times 15 so 5 times 5 25 bring down the 5 carry the 2 5 times 1 5 and 2 7 and at the tens place 1 times 5 5 and 1 times 1 1 we add this together and that will give us the amount that we get on discount all right so we bring down our 5 7 plus 5 is 12, bring on a 2, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. And the amount we got on discount was $225. So 15% discount of that $1,500, $225, but that's just a discount. Remember the cost of the TV is $1,500, and you get 15% discount. So I need to discount that $225, which is 15% discount. And when I minus that, that will give me the amount that I purchased for the TV on cash. We cannot minus zero from five, so we borrow from the five, the five becomes four, this becomes 10, borrow from the 10, the 10 becomes nine, and that becomes 10. 10 minus five is five, nine minus two is seven, four minus two is two, and you bring down the one. Cash price for the TV at 15% discount is $1,275. So remember the cost of the TV was $1,500 when I went to purchase it, and they gave me a 15% discount. When I find this 15% of $1,500, I got $225. I minus that $225 from the $1,500, and I got a total of $1,275 as the cash price of the TV. Okay, to continue the problem, part B of the problem says, calculate the cost of buying a TV on credit or higher purchase. And remember, here is a section for higher purchase. Remember your cash price here. This $1,275 that you minus your discount has nothing to do with your higher purchase price. So your higher purchase price says that you'll pay down $500. So remember, I need to include that $500 because I will add it later to the higher purchase amount. Because when I went and I got the TV on higher purchase, I had to pay down that $500. So I put it paid down. So they gave me the TV and I paid on $500. And the next part of the problem says you're going to pay 12 monthly payments of $120. So I need to multiply 120 by 12. So when I multiply this 120 by 12, it will tell me how much I'm going to pay for that 12 months and I'm going to add that $500 to it and that will give us our higher purchase price. Let's multiply this 120 by 12. 2 into 0, 0. 2 times 2, 4. 1 times 2, 2. And your tens place, 1 times 0, 0. 1 times 2, 2. 1 times 1, 1. We add this and that will give us the amount for the 12 months. Bring down your 0, bring down your 4, 4 plus 0, 0, 2 plus 2, 4, and bring down your 1. 
So for 12 months, I'm going to pay $1,440. And that's 120 times 12. But that's not the higher purchase price yet because remember when I went and got the TV, I paid on this $500. So in order for me to get the higher purchase price, so I need to add this $500 to this $1,440 and that will give me my higher purchase price. So let's do that. $1,440 for the 12 months at $120 plus the $500 that I paid on when I got the TV. And that will give me my total amount for the higher purchase price. Alright, so 0 plus 0, 0. 4 plus 0, 4. 5 plus 4, 9. And 1 plus nothing is 1. So my higher purchase price is $1,940. And again, remember how I get this $1,940? When I got the TV, I had to pay down $500. So I mark that here, pay down $500. And the next part of the problem says, after pay down that $500, you're going to pay $120 each month for 12 months. So that's 12 payments. And when I multiply 120 by 12, I got $1,440. And I add the $500 I paid down, and I got my total of $1,940 as the higher purchase price. Then to finish up the problem, let's work out C. C says calculate the difference between the credit or higher purchase price and the cash price. So remember the higher purchase price is $1,940. And it says you're finding the difference between the higher purchase price, which is $1,940, and the cash price, which is $1,275. And I know difference mean minus, so I'm going to minus the cash price, which is $1,275, and the problem will be solved. Okay, 0 from 5 can't borrow from the 4. The 4 becomes 3. This becomes 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. 3 from 7 can't borrow from the 9. The 9 becomes 8. This becomes 13. So 13 minus 7 is 6. 8 minus 2 is 6 and 1 from 1 is 0 so our higher purchase price we got $665 and the problem is solved thanks so much for tuning in look forward for many more coming soon remember you can subscribe for quick access to all the videos and lessons that will be posted